Hi, my name's Barry Crampton. Today I'm going to show you around our Range Rover Evoque, then I'll take you for riding it, but first I'll tell you a little bit more about it. It's a 2.0-litre TD4 SE Tech Auto, 2015 on a 65 plate, has done 73,840 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 39.2 miles per gallon, extra urban, 53.3 miles per gallon, and combined is 55.39 miles per gallon. Has a 0-60 time of 8 seconds, and a top speed of 121 miles per hour out of a four-cylinder, 178 brake horsepower, 16 valve engine. It's got keyless go, the side protecting trims on the bottom there, gloss black window surrounds, gloss black vents, uh, mirror backs, multi-spoke alloys, the plastic wheel arch protectors here, high pressure headlamp wash, parking sensors in the bottom there silver Range Rover badge and black grille with the silver surround integrated rear tailgate spoiler the twin shark fin aerial there the wiper is tucked up way underneath there or protected from the snow and so on so remote boot opening but you've got to lift it yourself this has got the heavy duty mat and the hard rear load cover. Seats split uh, independently of each other, 60-40. Rear parking sensors and the twin chrome exhaust tips. Great car the Evoque. Um, as I always say, very, very safe. There's, there's more airbags in here than I don't know what. They, they're just absolutely all over. A pillar, B pillar, C pillar, D pillar. They're in the roof over the driver's seat. They're in the seat at the side. Um, very, very safe environment. This is nice lighting area. It's got the, the full glass panoramic roof there. And it's also the, I'm not sure what they call it, whether it's uh, ivory, leather, or uh, light silver gray. I should buy, know by now we've we've sold enough of them, but this is just as it's come in. It needs a needs a clean. Once Lance gives it the treatment, this uh, light coloured leather will be, you know, be look the business. It's uh, it's a lovely interior, or a lo lovely colour anyway for the interior, and it goes well with a what I'm going to call Kingfisher blue today, <laughs> but but could be anything. So. Rinse, rear centre armrest here, rear ice fix, chowty tanker points, got the, the headrest that just just a little bit low down for me, but once you once you've ooched them up, you're fine. And it's uh, it's it's a nice car. I like evokes. Okay, let's go for a ride. Okay, Range Rover key, it's keyless go, so just need somewhere to plunk that. Foot on the brake, press the start button, uh, and away we go. The service history on this. We've got 27th of the 9th, 2017 at 21,410 miles, Conway Land Rover. 14th of the 8th, 2019 at 43,040 miles, Conway uh, Land Rover, 13th of the 8th, 2020 at 48,878 miles, Premier Toyota, 16th of the 8th, 2021 at 56,889 miles, Kingsmill Garage, that was a service and fit rear discs and pads, 26th of the 8th, 2022 at 66,522 miles, Kingsmill Garage again, and that was a service and fit front discs and pads. So 73,000 miles now, done, done eight, what, 7,000 miles. So here we go. Let's get going while the traffic's flowing in our direction. Well, we've got here height and reach adjustable multifunction steering wheel. And away we go. 
lovely cars to drive. Just, um, there's a path holding door mirrors. We'll just adjust them, click on the right one, get that down. Click on the left one. There we go, so they're both working. We've got cruise control just here on the steering wheel. I click that, cruise is on straight away. On the left hand side, that's your telephone controls. Voice activation, we've got paddle shift on the steering wheel. Just uh, actually, I'll just knock cancels there. Just knock the cruise control off. Yeah, there we go. Just knocking down on the left and changing up on the right. Nice, easy to use sat nav system. There you go. You can either click on that like so. Press screen to continue. It's the first time I've used it, so so that's showing you where we are. You've got Bluetooth hands-free, Bluetooth audio streaming. That's the uh, audio button. Some other great accessories like heated seats. heated front screen it does have lane departure warning which there's a switch down here I think that you can knock it off is that the one yeah that's locked sorry that's not lane departure warning off so this this car hasn't been cleaned and also in the video you'll see the outside We've got roadworks outside the garage and, and you just can't keep them clean, even if you have them washed. I've, I've washed two cars this morning that customers are coming to see. They were clean yesterday and I uh, had to take them for a wash again. And no doubt before the customers actually get here, they'll be dirty again. So we're, uh, we're up against it just at the moment. This car, just as it's come in, Lance hasn't cleaned it yet. Um, it will look a completely different car when he has. He does a three-stage buff, cleans all the inside, wipes all the leather down. As I say, it'll look a different car. Um, heated seats are getting nice and toasty there. So we'll just turn that down. Oops, turn that down too. You've got your stop start off there. Electronic handbrake. Here we can knock, press down and knock across. That puts us in sport. So, throttle's more responsive, holds it in gear longer. The whole point of getting a Land Rover is to have a nice, relaxing drive. So you should put a piece of tape over that sport. You don't need that. It's a great colour combination too. Not over endowed with gadgets. It's, it's quite a, a, a standard sort of car this. But it's, it still has electric seats like so. They are a good looking car as well, I've got to say. And the, the pan roof, that, that's, that is a great feature. I'm using a Range Rover Sport at the moment. It's, um, that's not got a pan roof. And I, I, I do actually miss it. But there you go. The sun gets too hot for you. Put the shade band across. And funny, yesterday, it was freezing yesterday and today it's shirt sleeve weather. What are we, October the 27th? It's not quite, not quite come. 
proper, there you go, that's better. So, contrast stitching, nice sort of padded dashboard, brushed aluminium sides to the gear tunnel, round the sat nav display, round here, the little touch pads. On this touch pad, if I click OK there, it changes the information display in the centre as driver assistance, trip computer, display settings, vehicle settings, security features and convenience features. Let's just see what the convenience features are. So on there, window global open, windows global close, so we want we we do want that on because that's a good you can uh, shut them with uh, just one press easy entry exit wiper settings headlamp delay gear shift paddles you can actually if I go into there you can actually activate them in sport only or activate in drive and sport at the moment it's, it's activated in drive and sport so, pretty good. Whip up the motorway. Good turn of speed there. As I say, we're, we are only in drive. I just come out in front of this chap without breaking the speed limit. And stick cruise on there, 67 miles an hour. Cruise set. One touch, just press that button there. You can increase it. I'll press it again, just increase it. It's gone up a mile, or you can knock it down like so. You can cancel it with the button at the back or the brake. And then once you've done that, you can click resume there and it'll go back to the speed you previously set. back to the ordinary setting. In the left hand side here in, in your indicator stalk, if I click that then it's changing the display at the bottom. It's gone, it's, at the moment it's showing the milometer, what gear I'm in, and the date on the right hand side. If I click it again, it's showing trip counter how many miles I've got to go before I need to fill up. And that's about it. The dash is a nice clear display. Left hand side, it's an analog speedo. In the centre we've got information display. And then on the right hand side we have rev counter. Your information display in the centre the top it's showing me digital speedo, left time, top right, outside air temperature, just flashed up fuel level low so it's just got below 55 miles left in the tank and then we've got coolant temperature, I'll just clear that actually, coolant temperature, a Land Rover sign in the centre and fuel gauge on the right hand side.
lovely steering, great road holding. Unfortunately, you can't make traffic lights change. I knew he was in the wrong lane. Brushed aluminium inset to the dash as well, which I uh, think I neglected to mention before. Rear seats, split folding, this armrest, and in there you've got power socket, you've got USB, an auxiliary. You have two cup holders here. Your terrain response switches here. want mine feel Christmas Mexico and it looks like although I've got my sunglasses on it looks like it's going to start raining and I've got the battery charger out at work and we all know what electric things in water are like oh good just what I wanted, to be stuck behind a big wagon approaching the train level crossing. I'm not sure, actually, when he goes across the level crossing, I'm not sure he'll clear it on the other side. But it's always busy there. I'll just uh, come back a little bit because sometimes they just knock the branches off and <laughs> you, you end up with a big branch on your bonnet or even worse through your pan roof. He's just giving it a trim as he's going along. So there's your heated front screen, heated rear screen, heated seats. Stop start off, hill descent. Nice and quiet. Lovely lovely car to drive. So, here we go again, I'll, uh, actually I'll, I'll just see how he copes, oh the, the, the level crossing is down as it always is every time you come here. <laughs> 